What's good, world? What's good? This your boy Preezy, back with another edition of Motivational Insights, where I share motivational words of wisdom from great athletes, entertainers, entrepreneurs, celebrities, and other great figures from all walks of life. Today, I'll be sharing 10 motivational insights from rapper and entrepreneur Nazir Jones to help inspire you to become the best version of yourself. Enjoy. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of confusion in the game because, um, they want to go from just starting to be on a Tupac level, you know, and there's a lot of ground to cover before you get there and they don't want to hear that. And, and if, if they would take the time to appreciate that, that path to go, they realize you don't want to miss going from zero to 60. You don't want to miss the dash in between. That's a good time. That's a good time right there. It may be a little scary. It might be a little nervous at times, but at the end of the end of the day, once you make it to, you know, to, to your point of of you've been around for a while, you'll appreciate the the, uh, the the struggling times. And if you just go from point A to Z like that, there's nowhere else to go. So you start to see that a lot of things go down like incarceration, you know, crime, drugs, violence. Out of all of this, you got to look for the positive, you know what I mean? You got to say, yo, besides all of this, you could be somebody. I definitely do. You know, I, I wrote in a book that I'm writing, there's a page that says, um, um, I was looking, I looked across and saw these kids packing to a, a Honda. And um, I, I, I was, they were blasting music and we were at a red light and I was in a chauffeur driven town car. And I looked in there and I looked at each one of their faces and they were bopping their heads to the music, enjoying this. So they didn't ha they had friendship and they didn't have a lot to lose. Like they can trust each other because it wasn't like, you know, they were gonna turn the corner and somebody get set up because they had a big chain on a, you know, some some girls harassing them now because you got all this money and it was just look you, you and your homeboys and you didn't have a lot it wasn't a lot of worries. Life was a lot stress free and they would all share one dime bag and be just as high as I would be on a whole ounce. You know what I'm saying? Not to influence smoke or weed, but I'm just saying using that as a metaphor to say they didn't need a lot to make them happy, you know? Yeah, I felt those things I didn't achieve. Um, there was a lot, of new, not a, new, a lot of new guys coming out that was making a lot of noise and uh, it made it real for me. And then B.I.G. went platinum and my record didn't even go gold. but. Everyone talked about it, but it didn't go gold. B.I.G. was went platinum. Um, I saw a way to get to platinum. I saw a way to beat every all the naysayers. All all of them said he can't do it again. He can't make a a, a big record. He can't make a top forty record. He can't get to that stage. He can't get to the MTV Awards or whatever was, you know. The place to be when you were supposed to make it. They had doubts. He's in the hood. He's he's not thinking like that. He can't do that. So if I was to to come back, now there's a notorious B.I.G. on the scene. So you can't just come back just okay. You can't just come back and just be like you know make your little record and that be it. No, you you had to come where B.I.G. was at, or go higher, or you was or you failed. It wasn't like today. Like you, if I didn't come out and get a platinum record, get a big record, get MTV, do those things, I don't care what the rest of the world would have said. Biggie would have been like, you're done. And I would have had to let it go. That's how it was. I would have been written in history as the guy who failed. And those guys, so those guys motivated me. Where do you go after you made it from... At one point, everybody around me was on parole in my life, right? The next moment, everyone owns mansions in Bel Air, California, you know? And I don't fit in with that crowd. I like those guys. I like. I like to learn from people. I like to be around interesting people and smart people and but they have characteristics that I don't understand and I 
them. So I wind up back with the guys on parole. <laughs> and there's things there too that I, I, I'm, I can't understand anymore. And that's because we grow. So, you know, there's wins and there's losses in life, but still the title of the album is Life is Good, because life's a blessing. So it's just really saying, stay strong, be strong. You're, you're human. We all go and go through ups and downs. Uh, I mean, I represent what I, what I was taught, what life taught me to represent. I just represent that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not representing that man, that man, that man. I'm representing, you know, what I think should be said on music, on records. I'm not the clever one with the, with the words in conversation. It's just... I'm a spontaneous type of person and I live in the now and whatever's going on, whatever happened yesterday or whatever made my day not great or I don't, I don't focus on that. I focus on the opportunity of now. I mean, it all goes back to, um, what do you want out of, out of life and how do you define success? Is it the biggest house on the hill? Or is it just giving back to the school you used to go to and stuff like that? Um, and being able to get to a point where you can give back. You know, what, what is success to you? And to, it's all those things, but you can lose yourself in, that, in the limelight and the riches and you become very alone. I found myself very alone a lot of times, like, like too alone. Like you just, you're tired of people, you're tired of, you, you need time for yourself and then you sort of isolate yourself. And you don't trust anybody. You don't know who really likes you. I think I, think I learned a lot coming up. I think um, people, places, and, and, and situations. Just watching other people. Watching it life experiences where I, I saw myself doing things that wasn't right, corny, you know, coming up and I'm like mad at myself later. Like, you know, it's, I'm a teen and I'm learning and I think I know it all. And I, you know, my mom used to tell me things and later I'm like, she was right, damn. I still say it to this day to her, like she's not here, but I'm like, she was right about this and that. I shouldn't have trusted this. I shouldn't have did this. I should have did that. But just just being grateful that I'm here, like, you know, to to alive, to 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 been one of those guys to come from where I come from and to be here. Um, I see which people I see which people made mistakes. I see which people made mistakes, but it wasn't their fault, but they, their heart was in it. So I still it's still honorable what they did. I start weighing things out and trying to see what did I want for me and what did I want to give back. And I always wanted to be somebody that could help somebody here, help somebody there, and, and just, just because I want to see them uh, reach their full potential because I think that's what we're supposed to do. So Beautiful. that's the most important thing. That was it for me.